Phoenix makes rendering partial templates or partials dead simple. In this episode, we'll extract two different pieces of our template into partial templates that different templates can easily render. Let's get started. Here we're listing all movies from our database. If we look at the movie index template, we're looping through all of our movies and rendering common data about each one. Let's take this part of our template and extract it into a partial. We'll create an underscore movie.html.eex template in the same directory, and in it, we'll copy over the part of the template we want to use. Now one change we'll need to make is to our movie variable. Since this is a new template, we'll need to access our movie with at movie. The at is a macro that will essentially get our movie from the assigns. Now we can go back to our index template and update our comprehension to render our new template. We'll call render with the template we want to render, in this case our underscore movie.html, and then our assigns, which is our movie. We'll also include our connection since we're accessing it in the partial. Now let's go to the browser. And great, our movies are still being loaded correctly. While this works, because we're rendering a collection, we can update it to use the render many function. Back in our template, we'll call render many, which takes our collection, in this case our movies, and our movie view, and the template we want to render, and our assigns. In this case, we only need to include our connection. And then we can remove our comprehension. Then let's go back to the browser and great, everything's still being rendered. Now if we look at the top of our page, we see the title of our app and some navigation links. These should be displayed on all pages, but if we click on our about link, we see they're missing. Let's fix that. We'll again open our index.html.eex template, and at the top of the file is the piece we want to extract. Let's copy it. Now we could add a partial to our layout directory and render it similar to how we did with our movie partial. But let's try a different approach and create it as a shared template, which many templates can easily access. We'll create a new directory in our templates called shared, and inside, we'll create our template, underscore header.html, and we'll paste in our header content. Now we'll need to create a view. We'll create a new file in views called sharedview.ex, then let's define our new view module. With that, let's go to where we want to render this new template. In this case, our app.html.eex. And we'll render our template here. Even though our template is in a different directory, we can still render it. We'll just call render with the view module, the template we want to use, and the assigns. Let's go back to the browser. And if we click through to different pages, we see our header content is being displayed on every page. Perfect. That's it for this episode. Thanks for watching and happy coding.